the technique is no different than when Ray Harryhausen did it on characters like uh, King Kong a long time ago. He was a great dog, a great friend. Executive producer Don Hahn is talking about how animators created the stop-motion animation for the Disney movie Frankenweenie, directed by Tim Burton. The crazy thing about stop-motion animation, though, is you're building puppets, like little, you know, Barbie dolls and G.I. Joe kind of puppets, that are highly articulated, and then you move them one frame at a time. So if you want a character to pick up this microphone, you have to move that hand one frame at a time and take a picture with every frame, so that when you play it back, it actually moves. And that kind of one frame at a time technique is uh, insane and time consuming and it's taken about five years to make a movie like Frank and Weenie. Your dog is alive! Ah! With all that work, there's another important element to the film. It's all about story, so you have that to deal with no matter what medium you're dealing with. Sporty! <laughs> The actual sets and miniature characters from the movie will be on display at Disney California Adventure for a few months as part of the publicity for this very unique film. It's a huge valentine to the monster movies of the 50s. Easy boy. <laughs> I can fix that. Mark Age reporting for OCregister.com.